Welcome again to CCIEOrDie.com. I'm Artec, and in this segment, we're going to talk about connecting routers and switches using a console cable, which is shown here. Light blue cable, 9-pin female to RJ45. The 9-pin female used to go to your laptop, and the RJ5 will go to the console port on the switch or router. The Laptops don't come with serial ports anymore, so you need an adapter for the 9-pin female connector for use with a USB port. If you buy it new, it will probably come with a device driver. If not, this driver from Prolific, which I have here, uh, will, will usually do the trick. Download, install it, and it will select the COM port for you to use. Don't forget to remember what COM port that it selects for use to set up with PuTTY or your other terminal emulator so connect the nine pin female from the rollover to the USB adapter let's have a look at that and this is what whoops this is what it looks like and this is yeah so connect the rollover to uh, the USB adapter and then obviously connect the USB uh, to your PC and the setup looks like this it's pretty straightforward stuff yeah, once you connect the RJ45 to the console port and the USB connector to the PC, Windows is going to bark at you. Either it's installing the driver it's ready to and it's ready to support your connection, or the driver is not found, and then you'll have to supply it. And in that case, try the prolific, prolific driver. It works for most brands. Then run PuTTY or some other terminal emulating program, and you'll want to connect serial. And it's going to default to COM1 and the baud rate at 9600. In my case, I have to set it for for COM3 and if you need to uh, look at the default you'll see uh, I'm, uh, it's 9600 and none and usually X on or X off uh, is irrelevant but you may have to uh, change those but normally it's just 9600 or none if you're seeing weird ASCII creatures on the screen once you connect then you might have uh, a mismatch baud rate, in which case you would change the 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 baud rate on the terminal emulator to try to guess at what the baud rate was set or at the, la the last setting on the device. The supported baud rates are, are basically here. Just try a few of them until you find one that works. So when we go back to PuTTY and we hit open, hit enter, and there we are with our switch that's that's really pretty much it it's it's not it's not very difficult and i hope to catch you next time on ccieordie.com thanks for watching